New here at five from the I team, more than 1300 gun stores across the country have sold guns that are now linked to crime. That's the new data from the ATF and in our area, federal investigators have identified more than 30 gun stores, pawn shops and sporting goods locations that sold these firearms. We took a deeper look into that data and we discovered five of them are in Fayetteville, three in Raleigh and two in Durham. Sean Coffey and the I team diving into this. Sean is live with the details for us now, Sean. Lauren, the I-Team sifted through hundreds of these gun dealers highlighted by the ATF because the guns that they sold uh, had recurring ties to crime. And we found 33 in our area alone that received what are called demand letter twos from the ATF. A demand letter two or a DL2 is sent from the ATF to a licensed gun dealer when that dealer has 25 or more firearms that they recently sold, traced and recovered in a crime in just the last year. The guns that trigger this need to have been sold less than three years prior, something the ATF calls a short time to crime. They say repeatedly having those short time to crime can be trafficking indicators and a red flag for potential off the books gun sales. A local prosecutor we spoke with today said that's concerning and said the lack of background checks for online and gun show firearm purchases in North Carolina makes these registered sales even more important to track. If they're not, that's a problem if they're not following the rules, but even if they are, like I said, it's a leaky boat because the people who are buying them from the deal, from the authorized dealers can turn around and make an over the over the fence sale to their neighbor, and that person might be a felon. It's important to note this list is not considered a punitive measure by the ATF, and it does not come with legal repercussions. They say it's a way for them to trace guns that are resold or used in crimes, and can even help law-abiding gun dealers by letting them know that they're susceptible to trafficking schemes. And the ATF says that that short time to crime window is a hallmark of bogus gun purchases, whether that means someone buying a gun for somebody else that isn't allowed to have one, or an off-the-books gun, sa gun sale altogether. They say it's a really useful tool for potentially tracking down some of those bad actors. We'll have more coming up on Eyewitness News at 6. For now, live in Raleigh, Sean Coffey, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.